Hello and welcome to yet another episode of the new series. My name is Pooja Bilodi. Today we are going to discuss Indian Science Congress. This Indian Science Congress was virtually inaugurated by the Prime Minister of India recently and it will go on for five days. Usually this is the first engagement every year for the Prime Minister. But there is a controversy with respect to Indian Science Congress. What is this? We will discuss all in detail. Moving ahead, let's talk about these many topics that are very important from the perspective of GS Mains paper, third, as well as second to some what extent. So Science Congress and appraisal, what has happened in Science Congress that will be discussed along with the origin plus what is the controversy that is related to it. Beg your pardon for the change of color. So this is the 108th Indian Science Congress. This is being held from January 3rd to 7th of this year itself at RTM Nagpur University, Nagpur, Maharashtra after a two year of hiatus. You have to tell me in the comment segment. This is an extra question uh, in addition to what I will post in the comment segment. The last Indian Science Congress was held where? Okay. Focal theme will be science and technology for sustainable development with women empowerment. All right. Moving ahead now, if we have to discuss the past as well as the present, the Indian Science Congress Association, which is an autonomous body under and works in collaboration with the Department of Science and Technology, conducts this annual affair. And the salaries of the permanent staff of ISCA are paid by the Department of Science and Technology. This annual is actually raised, this annual funding has been raised to 5 crore rupees from this year itself. Earlier it was rupees 3 crore. Okay. Several other government agencies like Science and Education Research along with others make financial contribution. Sponsorship and fees of renting for exhibition spaces are also included. All right. Now, if we have to discuss the origin, the origin comes from two British chemists, Professor J.L. Simonson and Professor P.S. McMohan. They thought that why not we have an annual congress with respect to new innovations and researches. So it was developed somewhat on the lines of the British Association for the Advancement of Science and it could be arranged. So objectives were very clear to advance and promote the cause of science in India. Having an annual congress as suitable place to publish such proceedings, journal translations and other transactions and other publications as may be considered desirable along with securing and managing funds for endowments for the promotion of science and to do and perform any or all acts, matter and things as are conducive or incidental or necessary for the development of science in India. Moving ahead. Now, the event actually has attracted uh, attention for all the wrong reasons. Why? Because it is now being called as a forum where non-serious discussions take place. Pseudoscience, science which does not have any theory backing it, has been outlandishly claimed by different types of people on this forum and there is also an absence of useful outcomes. So 5 crore is going in drain. It is being said by the critics. The government basically has no role when it comes to uh, who will be the panelist, what are the papers that are going to be discussed. No, the government does not do anything with respect to it. But because inauguration is done by the Prime Minister of India, generally the power party in power has something to do with the presence. Although this year, the Prime Minister did it virtually, otherwise he used to do it, uh, you know, uh, by the physical presence. There were no uh, COVID compels, uh, COVID-19, uh, you know, uh, any sort of uh, thing that could have, you know, stopped him from coming there, from going there. Then also virtual kind of inauguration took place. Uh, and there was also such instance, this instance is not new to this particular government. In 2008, the then Minister of Science, Kapil Sibyl, he was so upset by this Congress that the going on uh, with the goings on at the Science Congress that he had explored the possibility of discontinuing government support until some reforms were introduced. But the current government is extremely reluctant on going ahead on this path because it will be seen as anti-science. Now, India and science has a huge and long relationship since 1947 to 57. There was the establishment of a five-year plan which prioritized scientific research. The first ever five-year plan draft was presented in July 1951. It dedicated 
its devotion to science and scientific and industrial research and it also recognized 11 research institutes at the national level which will be important in the outcome scientific outcome of this country including national physical laboratory of india national chemical laboratory and central electrochemical research institute among many others now from 1957 to 67 there was a focus on agriculture research and emergence of the green revolution was done only in this decade where government prioritized scientific research for advan advancement of agriculture green revolution happened because of that only from 1967 to 77 uh, india's first satellite aryabhatta was launched because isro was uh, established in the year 1969 it ended up in launching the first ever indian satellite aryabhatta on 19th april 1975 and this was to do x-ray astronomy aeronomy as well as solar physics from 1977 to 87 agni india's strategic missile came into being when missile systems in the 1980s were being tinkered with now 1989 there was uh, of course the launching of the first agni missile to hope to hope that it uh, india as a nation in this area could manage reentry maneuvering range control guidance two stage propulsion and separation system as well also from 1987 to 1997 there was the publishing or we can say the record of dna fingerprinting for the first time ever in india 1988 now council of scientific and industrial research center for cellular and molecular microbiology it made it possible for dna fingerprinting in india and india became the third country in the world to develop its own dna fingerprinting probe from 1997 to 2007 Pokhran second nuclear test happened and we know how it went on 11th may 1998 it all happened and that is why this day has been de declared as national technology day by the then prime minister atal bihari bajpai ji atal bihari bajpai ji from 2007 to 2017 india went on for lunar probe chandrayaan 1 mission then it was launched on uh, 22nd october 2008 Chandrayaan second followed, and now we are going with Chandrayaan three as well. It sent chemical, photogeologic, and mineralogical mapping of ISRO. Okay, then during this period only, India saw that India could become polio free because in until 1994, 60 percent of the global burden of polio came from India. But polio free certification, India won in just two decades. it was awarded by the who world health organization on 27th march 2014 because of strong policy committed healthcare professionals and frontline workers earlier there was also a lack of awareness with respect to polio drops so rural awareness also could be generated during this period of time from 2017 until present india's gaganyaan program is something that is going to ensure that india has its presence on the world map when, with respect to um, space technology so this is going to demonstrate human space flight to low earth orbit it will expect it is expected to set the stage for efficient and effective indian human space exploration in the future the covid-19 vaccine research and vaccination drive as of end of 2021 we have supplied over 7 crore covid-19 vaccine doses to more than 90 countries and as of february 2022 more than 170 crore vaccination doses have been administered this could only be done because of research development frontline workers huge manpower demonstration raising awareness among the people of india so all this is of course we have in the field of science now since the beginning of india as a nation scientific temperament was something uh, developing scientific temper was something not very you know well spread in india so with the help of article 51a that was added by the 42nd amendment in 1976 it is expected that every citizen has a duty to develop scientific temper humanism and the spirit of inquiry and reform so we are bound by our constitution also now from 2022 to 2023 ministry of science and technology in the U union budget i'm talking about here here ministry of science and technology has allocated 14217 crore for research and development overall it is a 3.89% decrease from 2021 to 2022 which had the budget of 14793 crore so there this is one of the challenges now the problems in the indian science congress is that the most credible scientists are not available in the event they generally avoid the event 
leading scientific institutions and laboratories only have a token presence so there is no outcome of it most attendees are from colleges and universities which have limited scientific credentials and the papers presented or the talks delivered hardly reflect the latest advancement but there are certain solutions that we can resort to scientists say why don't we develop an alternative forum where top indian global scientists could be invited to talk about the latest development but my question is why not reform this particular forum apart from that we also should raise competition and awareness in different important institutions as well as the schools of india with respect to indian science congress there should also be an allocation of proper gdp uh, percentage for research and investment for, especially for indian science congress now let me uh, take the names of those students who have answered the last question correctly of the in new series the correct answer was option a all right many of you have answered it correctly so rupal ragvendra suchita puneet harsh viladimir tech hk kamal rahul simran sai teja akhil aditya anuj rehan and anshika thank you so much for answering the question again answer the question that i asked in the middle plus the comment segment that's it thank you so much for watching